Hi teams, just a quick update tonight over the Easter weekend. So information yesterday and Good Friday was that things were okay. Still plenty of prescriptions from the surgeries coming in, but it's manageable and the patient flow is much lighter. So that's a good thing, a lot easier for us to handle. So for the pharmacies out there that have RGU students, they become available after the following dates in May. So the final year after the 16th, the third year after the 19th, the second year after the 22nd, and the first year after the 21st of May. So maybe a wee bit later than you might want to help with the, the workforce as we go forward, but those are the dates that our students from RGU will become available. And everyone at CPS, and I'm sure in the pharmacies, would like to send all their best to the students out there for their exams. Everybody should now have received your PPE equipment and the process for replenishment should be communicated next week. It's highly likely that will fit in with the process for the GPs and come via national procurement and, and that makes sense. We are part of the NHS and therefore we should fit in with that particular system. Just a, a small note for the teams out there, even when you're wearing masks, remember to smile. Your eyes are the window to the soul, they say. So if you can smile, people will see that through your eyes and it's always a nice welcome and a reassurance when people come into our pharmacies. Now, I spoke to you on Thursday about belief in the network and its people and painted you a picture of what the future might look like. But I think it's also important for you as teams to reflect on what has changed in the last month and from those changes, what do you want to keep? Because we've now got access to ECS, we've got additional PGDs. I'm sure you will have redesigned your processes within the pharmacy. And are they better than before? I'm sure some of them will be. So what do you want to keep going forward? Because I say that because I actually feel it's time to start planning of how we're going to move out of this phase of the operation. We've passed through the chaotic, we've passed through the frantic, and we're actually we're into the manageable bit now. And we need to think about how are we going to move back to business as normal over the coming weeks? Now, I know already certain groups of pharmacies are back to opening to their patients from nine o'clock in the morning. They're reverting to their previous traditional hours. Now, so that for me is important to continually review our pharmacy operations as sometime the movement restrictions, they'll be lifted and we'll have to be ready to move with the times as that happens. It's just always easier to do that when you've thought it through beforehand. So can I really just ask you as your teams out there to start planning for normal? We're not there yet, but just start to consider how you will handle that transition as we come out of the movement restrictions. So some of the shout outs tonight, the first one's to, to Rosie and Lloyds in Glasgow. It's good to know you're doing well, Rosie. Stay good. And then to Craig at the Willis Pharmacy Group. That's in Troon, Coat Bridge, and there's three in Glasgow. Craig just wants to say big thanks to everybody for everything that's been done. We'll go up north now to Murray and to Mark Easton and his team up there. Mark, that was a great video during the week to the local community to stay at home and hope everything's well with you and your team up there. Now down the west coast to Greenock and to Gourock. Uh, two pharmacies down there, that's Eddie McInerney and the teams. Eddie's been telling me what an amazing job in his own words you've been doing and wants to say a big thanks to you both down, both teams down there. He's also looking for a clouty dumpling, so if anybody knows one, Eddie will take one your way in that way. And then similarly down to Ayrshire now and to Sam Faulkner and all the team at Townhead Pharmacy in Cowanen. And that's with Fiona and David Stribling and the team down there. Sam's another one of the independent prescribers I was describing on Thursday night and is doing a, a great job down there. Very impressive things in the pharmacy. So one of the things that, as well as Matt looking for a pay rise last night, he was also left here with a Billy Connolly quote. And he said, so my definition of an intellectual is someone who can listen to the William term overture without thinking of the Lone Ranger. So that was his 
quote there from Billy Connolly. And my question to you tonight is to which, in which stage musical are you welcomed by MC to the Kit Kat Club? So in which stage musical are you welcomed by MC to the Kit Kat Club? So tomorrow night also you got a slight change tomorrow where our own Amanda Ray will be talking to you and Matt will be back sometime next week. All the best teams. <laughs>